lovely friends, welcome back to Awesome Stories. Our story today is titled, One is a Feast for Mouse, A Thanksgiving Tale, by Judy Cox and illustrated by Jeffrey Ebola. As we read, look out for all the new word pop-ups and find their meaning at the end of the story. Let's read. After Thanksgiving dinner, Mouse crept out of his hidey hole and looked around. The house was quiet. Dad snoozed in his chair with his book. Mom dozed in front of the TV. Outside, the kids played football in the crisp yellow leaves. Cat curled up by the fire. He yawned and stretched his stripy tail. Then he closed his grainy eyes and went to sleep. Mouse scampered up the tablecloth. Thanksgiving leftovers were still on the table. So much to eat! Mmm, yum, yummy! Mouse saw a teensy tiny toothsome green pea all by itself under a plate. Give thanks, he thought. One will be a feast for me. Mouse rolled the pea across the tablecloth to take it back to his hidey hole. But his eyes were bigger than his stomach. He saw six leftover cranberries glowing like rubies on a silver saucer. I'll just take one, he said to himself. One is a feast for me. He balanced one cranberry on top of the pea and started once again across the table to his hidey hole. Just then, he saw three olives, black and shiny, in a dish. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He put the olive on top of the cranberry on top of the pea and carried the tidbits across the table. Then he saw the carrot sticks, crunchy and munchy and orange. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He stuck one carrot stick into the hole in the olive, balanced both on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and started back to his hidey hole. Then he saw the mashed potatoes, mouse potatoes. There was just one scoop left on the plate. I'll just take the plate, Mouse thought. What a feast I'll have. He balanced the plate of potatoes on top of the carrot stick in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. Mouse started off across the table. Then he saw the gravy, brown and luscious in the silver gravy boat. Gravy for the mouse potatoes, he thought. I must have that for my feast. And he balanced the gravy boat on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. And he started off. But then he spotted the pumpkin pie. One slice of pie, brown and dimpled with a color of fluffy cream. So he balanced the pie on top of the gravy boat, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started off across the table. The pie slid, but Mouse caught it just in time. Mouse bobbed and bobbled across the tablecloth on the way to his hiding hole for his Thanksgiving feast. He didn't see Cat creeping, creeping closer and closer. But Mouse saw the turkey, brown and juicy, surrounded with parsley. Much was gone. But there was enough left for a mouse feast, or even two. I'll just add that, thought Mouse. And he carefully placed the turkey platter on the very top of his pile. On top of the pie, on top of the gravy, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. 
he started off across the table to his hidey hole. And there, at the table's edge, he met Cat. Greedy, eyed, and hungry, clawing up the table on the tablecloth. Mouse skidded to a stop. The turkey wibbled and wobbled, slid and slipped. Mouse danced to keep his feast balanced, pirouetted like a ballerina, juggled like a platter spinner. But off slid the turkey. Whoosh! With a plop! Landing smack on cat. <laughs> Down crashed the pumpkin pie and the boat with the gravy. Down crashed the mashed potatoes with the clatter that woke mom. Down fell the carrot stick, still impaled in the olive. Down went the cranberry, which rolled, leaving a red track across the tablecloth. Down went the pea, all catawampus off the table, rolling onto the floor. Off scampered Mouse, quick as a bandit, back to his hidey hole ahead of Cat. He huddled in his hidey hole. His heart pitter pattered. He peered out. Down came the broom on the stripy, greeny eyed cat. Bad kitty, shouted Mom. Outside! And she swept the cat out the door. Mouse looked around, whiskers trembling with fright. No Thanksgiving feast for me, he thought. Just then, he spotted, glowing in the corner, one teensy tiny round and toothsome green and luscious pea. Give thanks! One is a feast for me! The end. Okay, my friends, did you enjoy that story? Isn't it interesting how Mouse tried to stack one thing on top of the other? Do you think he could have fitted everything into his hidey hole? All he wanted to have was a Thanksgiving feast. Poor Mouse. Did you also catch a glimpse of our new word pirouette? A pirouette is a ballet movement involving a rapid rotation of the body upon the toes or the foot. So for example, you could say the ballerina amazed her audience with a beautiful pirouette. Well, if you enjoyed reading with me today, then check out the links to other story read alouds in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on my very next awesome story. Bye!